Hey guys, what's up and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today we'll be learning how to create this textured glass effect or frosted glass effect within After Effects. So let's start by creating a new composition and rename it to texture glass. And firstly we will create a rectangle shape using this rectangle tool. And align it to the center. I'll be making its edges a little rounded. So go to its properties. Increase the roundness value. Something like so. Let's rename this layer to glass. To keep in mind, this is the shape layer and we have to convert it into an adjustment layer. To do so, we have to click right here to the small icon you can see click right here so we have now converted this shape layer into an adjustment layer let's quickly add fast box player effect and change the blur value 50 and iterations to maybe 8 as of now we can't see anything going around because there is no background so let's quickly add a really cool background to it. Now we can see the blur is working pretty well. Alright. So to give it a frosty glass effect, I'll be using this texture to it. Let's see how we can do this. So I'll be dropping this texture right into this comb and scale it till it's get fit to the comb. Awesome. So I'll be pre comping this layer. We'll be renaming it to Scratch Texture. Alright. So we can hide this layer for now. And let's add Compound Blur to this glass layer. And choose Scratch Texture and increase Max Blur value to maybe 200. Now you can see the texture is coming pretty well. I'm still not satisfied with this texture. So let's quickly adjust it. I'll be tweaking it by giving it a brightness and a contrast. Increasing the brightness property and a little contrast something like so now you can see the texture is coming pretty well all right now let's give some depth to this glass to do so duplicate this glass layer remove its adjustment icon and also make the fill to none let's keep it stroke to 5 remove all the effects compound blur and fast blur now we can see the black line around this glass now right click on this layer and go to layer style and then choose gradient overlay let's play with this firstly we will change the blend mode add to this overall layer and in the gradient overlay we will make this blend mode to overlay awesome Let's change the style from linear to reflected. Now let's edit the gradient. Now click right here and change the opacity to 0. Now you can see the depth of the glass. Now we can play with the angle to make it look more dynamic. I'll be adding the time expression to it. To maybe 40 now let's see how it's coming up pretty cool now we can add text to it maybe texture
texture glass so this is how you can create frosty glass effect i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and if you did do consider like and subscribe also you can find the project file link in the description below thanks for watching